Well, thanks for joining us today, everybody. Uh, so I, today I wanted to walk you through just briefly uh, a bit of an understanding of uh, model-based systems engineering. And uh, once we go over that a little bit, uh, we'll talk about uh, our tool, Maple MBSE, and all the ways in which that can make the whole MBSE process uh, easier and, and more accessible uh, for those all throughout your organization who uh, really need to have their, their stake in the model-based systems engineering process. So quickly, just um, defining MBSE. So this is model-based systems engineering. And as you see here, uh, we can think of it as the formalized application of modeling, and that helps support uh, all parts of the systems engineering process. So it's requirements, design, analysis, verification, um, and all of this beginning in the conceptual design phase, uh, all the way uh, through the development process. And uh, this is different than the traditional method of being a sort of document-centric approach where uh, all of the information around your engineering process um, is traditionally going to be uh, in a series of documents. Um, moving that over to a model-centric uh, a model-centric format, um, it stands to offer a, a lot of benefits, uh, and it's certainly a different and uh, newer way of doing things. So yes, it's um, it is a proven technique. It's newer than the document-centric way of doing things, um, but it really helps manage design complexity, risks, and costs. Uh, but as we're going to talk about, for a host of reasons, it's it's often just underutilized by companies, and f some of those reasons include. Uh, the fact that systems engineering, it's not really a core function for most people, um, but nonetheless, the kind of work that they're doing uh, and the parts of the project they're working on, um, they need to have that information still feeding back into uh, the systems engineering process. So even though it's not their function, um, what they do needs to be represented in the model-based systems engineering process. Um, and then further than that, uh, if it's not a core function for them, and if the tools themselves are unintuitive to use, uh, this is a, a serious obstacle to adoption. Um, these folks are already busy with their own projects, and um, many of the common MBSC tools, uh, if they're presented with these tools, um, they're really difficult to use. And they often only need to use a small slice of that tool, um, so it can be just a, a big barrier to try and get buy-in through dozens or hundreds of people um, to really wrap their head around a, a complicated tool. Um, so all of that sort of ends up in this place where we don't have the kind of buy-in or engagement that we want um, with this process. So even if part of the organization is uh, is really an advocate and understands the benefit of taking on an MVSC process. Um, that entire process will only really be successful uh, if we can get everyone to to feed in that information. You know, we need a complete model of what's going on. Uh, so that's sort of where Maple MVSC comes in. Uh, we we build it as a, a simple and intuitive tool for managing that systems engineering information uh, across all these stakeholders. <coughs> So we like to think of it as MBSC made easier. And by that, um, you know, one of the big things that uh, we designed this around was uh, recognizing that there's a huge barrier to adoption when there's a really uh, like a new complicated learning curve for a tool. So we based a lot of uh, Maple MBSC around the same Excel-based interface that arguably almost every engineer has uh, a lot of experience with. So we tried to take that, that massive barrier out of the way right at the beginning. Um, we also designed it so the, the, the information from your MBSC tool, um, it's automatically populated in there. So uh, our tool takes all the relevant information from the models in your process and uh, populates it right into Maple MBSC. So there's a, um, there's a really integrated connection between your, your models and your, uh, your other MBSC tools and what Maple MBSC is accessing. Um, so to build off that, yeah, the, the integration is with standard uh, SysML-based tools, uh, and these platforms can include um, Nomadic's Teamer Cloud, uh, and it can also include uh, IBM's Rational Rhapsody, so the, the integration can connect with a, a variety of tools that uh, you might be familiar with from your organizations. And uh, Maple MBSC 
just helps really streamline a lot of the SE processes um, for those companies who use those tools. Uh, we also <clears throat> designed it with a whole bunch of different tool views. Uh, one of those is we designed some ways to really rapidly do impact analysis of design changes. So you can test for conflicting requirements uh, really quickly, uh, especially if all of the right um, model information is being populated uh, through your, the tool that you're integrating with. Uh, and some of these optimized tool views will end up being for, um, for different engineers uh, in different departments. So there's optimized tool views for impact analysis, uh, FMEA, trade-off studies, and um, a design structure matrix. So what we really tried to do here was recognize that there's a lot of different tasks that stakeholders are going to need to perform uh, in an MBSC process. <clears throat> and they don't really want to have to wrestle with an entire model or wrestle with an entire piece of software that could do everything. So Maple MBSC provides views that are, are really streamlined for these specific tasks that different engineers need to do. Um, so we try to make it as easy as possible for uh, different people across departments uh, to plug in. And it all ends up sort of looking like this. Uh, this is sort of a diagram that <clears throat> can help encompass uh, a lot of what I was just talking about. So we see that there's, there's ways for Maple MVSC to just easily plug in to these different disciplines, whether it be the mechanical engineers, software engineers, um, and all of that, as an example here, is just seamlessly integrated with uh, Teamwork Cloud. So all the changes that are being made uh, in these simple Excel interfaces, um, they're making their way back to Teamwork Cloud, and those changes are being reflected and synchronized. So this sort of means that uh, you're able to make a much better uh, adoption of an MBSC tool across your entire organization. And from a lot of folks that we speak with, uh, this is really one of their largest problems with adopting uh, what they know to be a superior methodology. But to really see it in action is getting buy-in uh, on such a large scale. Uh, that's, that's a huge uh, a huge challenge for so many companies. So we've designed Maple MVSC to make that exchange as simple as possible. Uh, another thing we've designed it to do was to reduce the errors and costs associated uh, with using certain MVSC tools. So this helps, um, yeah, it helps reduce the errors associated with a lot of complex entry mechanisms that you might be familiar, unfamiliar with in other tools. And uh, we're also trying to make it easier for the learning curve to be as, as sort of simple as possible. So not only is this a, a familiar Excel-based interface, uh, but it's something that the learning curve is very easy for. So the barrier to wanting to adopt it can be lower, but once you get this in the hands of stakeholders uh, across your organization, uh, it can, you can really kind of hit the ground running and uh, there's not a huge amount of... Uh, of new software to need to learn here. And again, this integrates well, uh, so it satisfies maybe the needs of your management for a PLM integrated solution. So it's a really, um, just a simple and powerful way to knock down a lot of the, the reasons that perhaps you've been struggling to adopt uh, MBSC processes in your company. So just as an example, when I was saying about uh, reducing errors, um, there was a case study done at, at Nissan, and by using Maple MBSC, there was a, a variety of different MBSC tasks you can see here. And then they, um, in developing a certain engine subsystem, just by using MBSC, the, the speed of the whole process was really able to pick up. And, and that was because of all the reasons we just spoke about, because of, it was just, it was easy to understand by the engineers using it. Uh, there was, they could input it in ways that the amount of errors associated were going to be far less likely. And all of that together meant that it was about four times faster for them to use Maple and MBSC than the other tool that they were using. So just a simple example, but a way to show that if you give an engineer something they already know, um, you're going to stand a much higher chance of them uh, adopting it and of them using it well uh, right away, not struggling with it for months or years. So I've done a lot of talking about Maple MBSC 
And uh, as we said earlier, I'm joined here today with uh, Hisashi Miyashita, and I'm going to pass the microphone over to him just to show you a little bit about uh, what Maple MBSC looks like uh, in action. So, Hisashi? Yeah, thank you. Um, <coughs> okay. Uh, let me take you to the quick tour of uh, Maple MBSC. And uh, Maple MBSC itself is quite looks like the typical uh, Microsoft Excel application. Okay, let's start uh, by picking up the shortcut. And the Maple MBC can directly connect to Team or Cloud. First, you need to select the configuration file that defines how to map the system's models into spreadsheets. Okay, let me select. And the, it will pop up, uh, Maple MBC, and it will also launch Excel. And the, after loading that, the, it will ask users to log in to Timo Cloud. Now we need to input and log in. Oh. Maybe I wrong password, but the, I, now I can log in. Uh, file loading the models uh, from the Tingwa cloud, I'd like to show the same models on Micro. Oh yeah, now it's loaded. And the, also, we are now seeing the requirements. And the, in the other seats, you can see packages. Okay, let me first uh, try to edit some models. New package. Just by typing the Excel cell, Maple MBC recognized as uh, new packages. And after that, the, it's very easy to uh, commit the changes. Just by double clicking the save button. Yeah, it's ready. And uh, from Magic Pro, and you can update the project. Ready. Now you can see the new package is added. Likewise, you can change the requirement seat. For example, the, just by typing the safety. After adding the new requirement, you can see the changes also in the other seat. So this is just Excel, so that you can cut and paste everything. Very simple uh, operations of the cut and paste. And also you can tell uh, the fetch requirements are covered by the uh, derived requirements, uh, so that the we can you, you can use the almost all of the Excel functionalities to give uh, good feedback to the users. In this case, uh, we use uh, Excel conditional format. And after that, the, of course, you can now from the other users. You can get the updates. Okay, for example, the also you can uh, show the in the diagrams from the magic draw, and also you can change something. from Magic Draw as well. Also, as a collaboration uh, from Magic Draw, you can commit the changes. Okay, so that's uh, 
for example, the users can get the update from the users. Uh, Maple MBC. So the Maple MBC user can get the updates. Also, the, these changes are keeping the consistencies uh, with other seats. That's a very important benefit of Maple MBC because uh, typically the spreadsheet of Microsoft Excel cannot keep the consistencies with other seats. But the Maple MBC synchronizes, always synchronizes with models. So the, all of the seats keeps uh, consistencies. Okay, now if you'd like to change by Maple MBC, oh, but it's now uh, yeah actually the cause an error because uh, currently the this model element is locked by the master user. So okay, please unlock the model element. Now the lock is raised, so uh, you can oh, uh, update again. Yes, now it's accepted. All of the other cells are updated as well. Now you can commit the changes. That means you can uh, concurrently edit in a collaborative way. So from the magic draw, the other users can get the update. Yes, now the, you can see the changes. Uh, it's uh, updated by Maple MBC. Also, you can use uh, use cases in other seats. Also, you can edit the block definition diagram. In the latest version, we are supporting the activity diagrams or internal block diagrams as well. Yeah, we basically we can support all of the <coughs> uh, systems uh, system error models. Okay, uh, yeah, let me finish a very quick tour of Maple MBC.